Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today. It's the end of the month, so we're going to be doing our haul video. So I've got some supplies and a good stack of colouring books to show you. <laughs> so I'm going to try and not buy any colouring books other than my Colour in Heaven and the new Hannah Lynn next month. I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to work, but I'm certainly not buying the tons of supplies, well not tons, but some supplies, and the 20 colouring, yes, 20 colouring books I got this month. Okay, so let us start. So the first thing I got, I got a pencil case. Um, this is for my Black Widows. It's quite a big one, as you can see. It holds 150. I've got my Black Widows in it. And I'm going to use a pencil case that my Black Widows were in to put my ink tents in because it holds 72. This is in readiness for the set that is coming out in July, which I'll be ordering as soon as it's available, which is another 48. So I've got all this space left. I hope they don't bring up any anymore. Well, actually, I do. All that would happen is I would buy a bigger case again, move them over and use this case for something like, well, I don't know, the feelers? Something like that? I don't know. So that's, I think it was around £20. I'm pretty sure that's how much it was. £18.99, I think, for that one on Amazon. So that's the first thing I got. The usual glitter pens I buy, Link Shine, are out of stock. They don't, I don't think they'll be coming back in. So the next thing I bought was the 14 set of the Arteza glitter gel pens. So I'm starting a new um, section or on my channel, a new series on my channel uh, called First Impressions. And I've filmed two episodes already and you'll see the other supplies in a minute. Um, and basically what it is, because I usually just haul them and then you just see them when I've coloured something with them, I'm actually going to show you the packaging, what I think of it, um, how they uh, work, how whether I like them, what I think of them, uh, and so on. So I hope you'll enjoy this new series. Um, so the first one will be the Arteza Glitter Gel Pens. The second issue of um, first impressions will be more gel pens. I treated myself to a pack of 24 Sakura jelly rolls. I've not used these before, but I have now, obviously, in my test. Because um, that episode is filmed and ready to go. But I was just waiting until I'd hauled them before I start putting them up, and they'll probably got once a week. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm not going to say anything about them. I, I thought everybody goes on about how fantastic these pencil, these uh, gel pens are, sorry. And I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to get them. I'm going to treat myself. I've worked hard on my eBay this month. I've worked hard on my um, normal job, my main job as well this month. And I don't buy a lot of other than colouring supplies. I don't buy anything. I, you know, I, I buy the odd book here and there. But just lately you'll have to excuse me i'm so tired i'm really old um i haven't been buying a lot of stuff i've been saving money so i thought i'd treat myself and i'll tell you how much they are and everything and when obviously when i do the felt video and put it up i'll put the link the amazon link to them so find out what i think about the jelly rolls pencils now i bought myself another tin of the scorpion black widows you all know i love the black widow pencils i use them a lot they're my favourite pencils at the moment, um, along with my Prisma colours, which I need to start replacing some of the shorter ones. Some of them seem to be missing out of my pencil case. I need to have a look to see what, what I've done with them. They're around somewhere. Um, these are obviously cheaper to, to just buy a whole tin, I would imagine, than to buy individuals. You can buy them individuals, but you have to email Albert at MediHealth one, uh, which is not a problem. But I've got so many of my pencils that are short, I thought I'd just buy a new tin and have to wait. Um, and I'll probably be colouring again today, later tonight or tomorrow with them again because I have got a book I want to colour in, which you'll see in a minute. And the last thing I got was um, from my mum for my birthday. Well, she gave me the money and I uh, went and bought them. And um, I haven't actually filmed the video for this yet, uh, the first impression, but I got the 72 set of Castle Arts watercolours because I like using my watercolours that I got from WH Smith and there are 48 in there. So I thought if I buy another 72, that's just going to complement the colours I've got um, and I can have a look um, 
and I'll swatch these in my first impressions video and start colouring a picture with them so that would be quite a long one and then if you want to see me finish colouring that picture with them I can certainly do that so I got those they were $34.99 so they really you know it was my birthday present they actually arrived on my birthday and I really like the fact I ordered the ones they came in a tin or in a case and I thought rather than buy a tin and then buy a case I'll just order the one in the pretty case obviously if I get the castle arts 120 pencils they actually come in a tin they don't do them in a case so there we go so that's those on to <laughs> the 20 i know it's ridiculous what am i thinking just putting those out of the way so i've got some space the 20 books that i bought this month i mean there is a huge stack of jade summer you'll be seeing those last i'll admit that i've bought a load of jade summer which is one of the reasons why next month i'm not going to be coloring much jade summer but i'll tell you about that in my completed pages what i plan to do for next month so the first book i got is called adult coloring book mandalas and patterns by sarah jane carter it's a new edition so that's what this looks like on the front and on the back these are actually quite detailed um some of them and some of them aren't too bad so that's quite a nice one i haven't done anything in this book as you see that's a pattern rather than the mandala it's a mixture of patterns and mandalas the paper's not over thick over thick but you can put a piece of paper in between the paper pages and that'll be fine i might do a flip through with this one actually i actually bought this on ebay for a few quid um just because ebay likes um movement on your account whether you're buying or selling so I, I hadn't been listing much so I thought I'll buy some and it might kickstart the new some sales um I got the new Deborah Miller book summertime fun I have filmed a flip through the, for this it, well I was going to put it up before I filmed this but my computer crashed so I haven't done it it'll be going up the same date as this video so I saw this and I saw some of the pictures she was doing from it and I thought I have to have it they are just gorgeous. I don't think it'll go out anymore. For some reason it seems to be a little bit too close. Hmm. I'll have to change it. But yeah, really cute pictures by Deborah Muller again. Really like this one. I can't wait to do that. I got a book by Jana Prosperina who did the fairies special for Colour in Heaven last month. And I got Witches. The paper's not brilliant. I probably could get a better copy from Etsy. Um, it is... Uh, lightning services i'm assuming it's some sort of it's very thin paper but do you know what it's all right for pencils and they're really cute little witches and i, I saw the book and it was one of the few that was in stock there weren't many left and i thought i'm gonna get that it looks really cute so yeah i like that one ready for halloween um the next one i've got was well these aren't in the order i got them i got 1950s coloring book at grayscale living art vintage adult kind of books for women doesn't have an artist i don't think no it doesn't have an artist it looks like kind of clippy art stuff but you know it's the 50s i'm trying to get this the right way and i'm never I'm not actually getting it anywhere near where it's supposed to go so this is what it looks like on the front and on the back and some of the pictures are really good and some of them that's just one of the other ones vintage horses you know are good and some of them not so much i quite like that one that's cute see though they're not brilliant i i wouldn't recommend it i will color in it i wouldn't send it back i'll probably do pencils and see that's one of the better ones that's a really cute one um and i you know i'd use pencils rather than markers on that's not too heavy uh, a grayscale probably could use uh, markers on it Another one I got was Retro Women Vintage Fashion Coloring Book by Rachel Mintz, um, which is this one. Let me get it on for you. And again, it's not as good as I was hoping it would be, but it's very Audrey Hepburn, you see, because it's very dark. So there's not a lot of colour on there other than her face and her hair. And maybe the sunglasses, but it's okay. That one's quite nice. And I quite like that one. I mean, it's nice you don't have to colour it. Well, that is a gorgeous one. That is a really nice one. Um, her hair is pretty much done. You could just put some colours in it. But I, I quite like that one. So, 
this is various that's a good one so yeah it's not too bad I quite like this one that's stunning everybody's got uh, April Amber's book except for me well she's got three out of the chippy girls so I went and bought the first one I know it says that they're for kids but hey do you know what uh-uh I am gonna be coloring in this one and of course like most of these books I think there's two of every one so of every picture so that's pretty cool because I'll colour one and then I can put the book away when I finish with it and uh, Jennifer can colour in them when she's a bit older and there's four of the images on the back I really like that so yeah that's really cute I want to colour in that one this month well next month this month yeah it will be this month when you see this be July next I've got three more Camellia Angel Cover books I know she's got a new one out. I haven't got that one. I'm still trying to get the old ones. I got 50 Lotus Flower Mandalas. I, you know, I just like these pattern books for colouring in bed when I'm watching a film or I'm watching YouTube. So, for instance, I'm currently watching the haul videos for the month and the completed pages that are going up. I haven't done mine yet. I'll be doing my video straight after this one. Um, so that's what I do with those. I just straight colour them with like the glitter gel pens or felt pens or fine liners if they're really detailed. The second one I got was a romantic, 50 romantic mandalas and heart designs. That's a Valentine's colouring book by Camellia in Jacoba 2. This is really pretty and that's why I wanted it because I never managed to get one for Valentine's Day. I just got the odd picture in various books but um, this is so cute. Like that. Lots of pinks and reds and yellows and quite detailed so it'll be fine liners and gel pens mostly for me uh, beautiful I think they're just that's nice that one so it's that one and then I, my favorite one I've colored in this one and you'll be seeing a picture from this next book in my completed pages and that is the sun and moon mandala coloring book by Camellia and Jacoba oh my god I saw this one I thought I've got to have this book it is absolutely stunning they are absolutely gorgeous and like with most of these pattern books I colour them from the beginning so I won't show you the first page which is the one I've done I, I colour them from the beginning and work my way through in order but I love anything to do with sun moon and stars and all that astronomy astrology stuff I really like it so I really love that book pleased that I got that one Next one to Colour in Heaven. I got three Colour in Heaven books this in June. The first one is the subscription one, which is Colour in Heaven the Special, which was the Dragons one. You've obviously seen the flip through of this one on my channel. I've done one picture in it and you will be seeing that, not now, shortly. It's a really stunning book. It really is nice. Um, I wouldn't have picked this up if it had been in the shop, but because it was subscription and I, it's there anyway, I had you know I had to have it and I'm glad because I was watching Nikki and Niagara with hers and she was saying she wouldn't necessarily pick it up but it's the colour in heaven puts her out of her comfort zone and makes her colour things that she wouldn't normally do and that's exactly why I've got a subscription I would never have bought gothic alchemy there's probably another one I wouldn't have bought this year because of the subject but I actually really enjoyed this I'm going to do the frost dragon next and I'll probably try and do that this month the third a colour in heaven book no the second sorry is the Sarah Kay one obviously I remember Sarah Kay I never had any Sarah Kay stuff I never had any Holly Hobby stuff I do remember it being around in the 80s and that um but I saw this and I thought oh my god that is so cute so I went and ordered ordered it around release day and I've done two in here already and I actually used my W. H. Smith watercolours um, but there is a flip through of this one up on the channel if you want to see. I know that the Anthem site is now sold out, so it's just what's in the shops basically. But I love it, I'm glad I got that, and I'll be colouring that again very soon. And the third one is another Colour in Heaven collection, which again is the red foil rather than the gold foil, which is the subscription. And this is the newest one, this is Costume, it's by Fabiana Trier. Um, and it's just various costumes throughout the world or throughout the decades. So there's a couple of 50s, there's a couple of 80s, there's Victorian, there's 20s, there's the 70s. 
but they've also got this the 20s one they've also got um that's 1500 and um, tie dress and sardinian dress and then we've got a russian girl and um, we've got a native american mexican costumes the maasai and so on which is really cool i'm looking forward to coloring in that one as well soon now we're on to the last lot of books which is a good stack of jade summers i've got one two three four five six seven eight jade summer books this month <laughs> and i haven't bought they're not new ones either these are mostly old ones because the new ones haven't been anything i really fancied um in, in the next one that's coming out it's, it's homes exteriors and i'm like do you know what that's not my bag i mean i might pick it up later but at the moment that's not my bag so i i like people and like fantasy stuff i guess so like most people um so i'll just see what they come up with i'll probably pick it up at some point but it's not something i'm going to rush out and buy there are other books i want more but the first one i picked up was the um sort of like cute mermaids one i've got it's not called cute it's just called mermaids i've got the other mermaids book um i thought i'd pick this one up plenty of flip throughs i'm sure on on youtube they're, they're kind of cute i haven't done anything in this book yet like I said, I've got so many books. I still coloured in a load, but I've got so many books now this month that there's no way I could colour in them all. I've got uh, the emojis, 50 emoji pictures. I think this means that they're all different, the emoji one. And I figure, you know, in fact, Jay, Jennifer can colour in when she's a bit older, but I thought, oh, I'm not going to get emojis. They're going to be yellow. I'm not going to use anything else because that's what it looks like on the cover. But when you actually look at it, you know, you got pizzas and burgers and things like there and chips and there's guitars and, and things and fish. Um, so it's not all going to be, and there's a house. And I think I saw somebody do one like that and I thought, oh, it's not going to be all just pages of different emojis, although there are on the pages. It's, it is going to be all sorts of different things as well. So I thought I'll pick that up. It looks quite good. Now, I've done one in this one. I've got so many this month, so that means I must have coloured that this month. Hmm. But I bought it this month, and that's Wells uh, for Beginners. I think that was this month. I'm just going to check. I won't be a sec. Let me just uh, pop into my Amazon and just check. I'm sure it must be. You get so many books. That one's there yeah it was so i have to do it this month i, I just i haven't got a ticket in it because it's the first page that i've done because i've always done it but again i like these pattern books they're nice and fun to do i know june is only 30 days long but it feels like it's been a really long month coloring wise so there we got the swirls for beginners and i think one of the reasons i'm a bit confused is because i've also got mandalas for beginners <laughs> and again i've colored one in this one i think Yes, again the first one. So that's that one. And it's just again these ones that I have by my bed that I colour at night. I'm watching TV or watching a movie and I'm just scribbling away and it's fun. Unless I'm trying to finish a whip, like my dragon, I did a lot of that up here. Then of course you know I'll do that. So there's that one. Then I got the one of the two stained glass flowers books they got out haven't got the other one yet that's on my list to get but like I said I'm going to try and have a month where I don't buy much because I do want to get the Black Widows and I might try and get the Castle Arts 120 and then next time I have a month off of doing books I'll be getting the Arteza pencils just every time I look at Arteza it's always sold out so these are really nice stained glass flowers I like that book I haven't coloured in that one yet next one I have and Paul's colouring in this one and this is the <laughs> 100 amazing patterns I've got magical patterns and I thought I've got to get amazing patterns because again I just sit and I'll just colour these but there's so many patterns and like I said Jennifer can colour in these if Jennifer if I'm colouring downstairs and Jennifer wants to have a scribble and she scribbles on it it's not going to upset me um whereas if she scribbled over something like uh, my dragon I would have been gutted but it's just patterns 
and I just like colouring the patterns. It's a bit. Paul's doing one with peacocks on it in here. I don't know where his is, but it's in there somewhere. He hasn't finished. He's going to finish it tomorrow, he said. But yeah, that's a really nice pan book. Again, I have coloured one in there, so I'm just putting those books separately. Separate. So that they're there for when I do the coloured pages. Because I'm thinking I've got loads up there and I've still got a ton here as well. Coloured lots again this month. Um, Intricate Mandalas uh, by Jay Summer. I've started one in here. But I haven't finished it. Um, so let's just have a look. So... I started the first one. Again, I do them in order, so I've started the first one. Look how tiny that is. I probably use my fine liners on there. I'm using my twine markers. They've got a fine end as well, so I can always use that. So there's that one. I haven't finished that book, so I'm, page, so I'm just going to put that to one side. Ready. And I might colour in that later on when I'm uh, watching a bit of TV before bed. So I'm on holiday this week, so I don't have to get up early for work. I just get it when Jennifer tells me to. <laughs> Tattoo grayscale. This was um, Jennifer's present to me. I say it like that because obviously she didn't buy it. Paul, Paul bought it to give to me from her. Actually, she gave me all the presents and all the cards. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, yeah, I like the grayscale books. They're good for using the, the um, Everblends in. So I thought I'll get this. I'll probably get tattoos two and three if they put them out in the grayscale. Again, there's two of each so Jennifer can colour in them as well. I like some of these. I like the mermaids, really cool. The Buddha's really cool. So I will pick one of these and do one at some point. Look at that. I mean, they're absolutely stunning. So this video is 21 minutes long. The longest haul I think I've ever done. So those are the 20 books I got in June and the supplies I bought. So pencils, gel pens, pencil cases hope you've enjoyed this I have got flip through to a couple but not all so if you want to see a flip through of any of the books I've mentioned in this video and shown you leave me a comment down below and I will film a flip through or I will let you know if I've already filmed one and then when it'll be up because like I said I think I've done one for obviously the colour in heaven ones they're done and up um but yeah if I mean for instance if you want to see stained glass flowers or the mermaid book just leave me a comment down below and of course I will do one for you. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, haul video. It's been a good month for colouring books um, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys!